Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a dressing room tour. Um, you might have seen I posted a dressing room tour on my channel about two years ago, but this is my new dressing room and I've been doing some videos from here and loads of you were requesting to see it. So let's have a look round. So guys, I'm gonna start with the door. So this is like the hanging door. So new bits that I order or things that I want to feature on my Instagram go on this door so I know what I've got to do. So this dress is actually coming with me to the Maldives. So I'm off to the Maldives with my friend Freddie. You might have seen our style swap video. Um, so I thought this would look amazing in the water. It's like sparkly, it's very it'd be perfect if any of you got like a prom, uh, ball gown kind of style. So I'm taking that with me. So that's ready to go. Obviously I don't want to pack it in the case yet. There is a case in the corner of my room, but this can't go in there yet because I don't want it to get like creased. And I'm also off skiing. So this has come from my Ski Sunday. I love their suits, they're amazing. So this is like pure white. It looks amazing in the snow. Um, I don't know if you saw, I actually went skiing before Christmas and I wore a white one from Julian McDonald's range Dare to Be or Dare to Be's range with Julian McDonald. So that was amazing. But this one I've just ordered and oh my God, I can't wait to wear it. The detail is so lovely. And um, we've got this silver detail here and the belt's really nice. And then here you've got this um, collar as well, like fur collar. So it's really lovely. So these pieces remain on here, so I know what I've got to do next. I'm just gonna take my jacket off, guys. <laughs> my house is actually always, or oh, put it there, it's always like a sauna. I literally have to have it like 30 degrees, but now I'm like absolutely boiling. Um, so this bag has just come from Moonstone Vintage. So I do love buying vintage pieces. Um, this is based in LA, I found them actually on Instagram. So this is coming on my next trip with me. It's vintage, I love the Dior print. It's perfect for like a hold all if you're just going on a weekend away. Uh, it's more of a weekend bag, so that one remains here. So when I need to get off and go, it's literally there ready to pack, although I can't say that would do me for <laughs> a weekend. I'd probably need like two suitcases. So I have actually got suitcases under here. So I keep all my suitcases under this rail here. And I've got this one, which is, if I can get it out, the Aspinall case. I love the croc. This is a brown croc. But I've actually, if you see my other dressing room video as well, my tour, this is um, pretty much, well, it's, I've still got it. So I've had these for about two or three years and they last so well. I've got them in the smaller one as well. So I've got the bigger one and the smaller one if I'm going on a weekend away, but this is perfect if it's like a week's trip. So they remain under here to keep it nice and tidy. I do try. So here as well, I've got this rail here. So this is more for pieces that I'm like ready to wear, I'd say. So things that I can literally grab and go in the morning. So I've got loads of different pieces. I've got one of my favorite leather jackets, my favorite blazer, um, skirts. I've got like trousers dresses, things that literally I'll just be wearing on a day-to-day -day basis that I can get and grab and go. Um, and then I've got this print behind. So this is by Art by Louis. Again, I found him on Instagram and his prints are just amazing. And I saw the Chanel piece and I was like, I need to have that in my dressing room. So that is here. And then this piece is by Neon Ink. So it's like a neon thing. And I love the fact that it said we should hang something cool here. It's kind of just like, I've got my rail and I don't know, I just, I really like the kind of quote. It's really cool. So I've got that there. And then I've got these three prints. I've just moved my Holland Cooper hat. <laughs> so I've got these three here. So my mum actually hung these for me. And they were actually only five pounds each from HomeSense. So anyone who, doesn't like home sense. My boyfriend hates home sense. I'm like, you're crazy because it's super cheap and you get really one off pieces. Um, so I love buying home stuff there. I will do a home tour another time. Um, but yeah, so I've got this Holland Cooper hat here as well. So you might know my other video with Holland Cooper. Love their stuff. This is great if you've got the races or if you're into horse riding. Um, I've got the beach ones as well. So like the straw hats. So they're very nice hats. So this section here is my dressing table. So I've got these lights. Um, I will link below where I got this from. It's amazing. I really love it because it makes everything look really good when you're putting your makeup on, which all us girls want to do, especially when you look in the morning, you're like, oh, who's that? <laughs> so it's really cool. I love the bulbs. I've got 
most of my favourite perfumes here guys but I did actually at the weekend have a massive declutter so I had so many perfumes on this table and I had to literally get rid of so many so quite a lot are on my Depop um, and I gave some to friends and family because I just couldn't have that many like I might smell good all the time but I literally have the space and I want it to be like a minimal space that I can go and grab one in the morning but I know a lot of you are probably wanting to know but my favourite is the Coco Mademoiselle Chanel I've been wearing this since I was 16 so for years and years long time it's my favorite ultimate perfume I have to have a little spray now <laughs> so that is one of oh that is one of my favorites it's so strong and it really lasts all day so I've got my GHD straighteners here ready to go so I like to literally have them on the dressing table so when I'm in a rush which is always the case um, I do just curl my hair so with these I'll show you in another video but you literally just turn them and you can curl super easy so in another video I'll show you how to curl with the GHD straightening iron but um, I've been doing it for years and it's super easy and then here I've got the Dyson hairdryer so I have had this for about a year now and I swear by it um, my hair as well because it's like dyed I'm not naturally blonde unfortunately um, so with this it's really good because it's quite it makes your hair quite silky I think with some hair dryers because they blast so much hot air and heat that it can actually make your hair look a bit frazzled and a bit dry but this just makes my hair look so silky when I dry it so again that's another video to come I'll show you how to use the Dyson hair dryer but I love it and it's definitely worth the money um, so these two are here and it's got a little stand with it as well so it's really good for when I'm rushing to get ready so I got this chair guys from next home and I've got this um, cushion which is from Silken Favours I love the prints um, I've got quite a few of their pillows around my house actually so I've got this one with the birds and then actually here I'll show you um, I've got this one as well, so this is like the unicorn pillow, it's really cute. So I have this one on my dressing table chair, um, so I really like that one as well. And I'll link where they're from below. So here I've got my denim jackets guys, so I've got all my personalised denim jackets up here. Um, they've all got Amy on the back. <laughs> I love a bit of personalisation, so these are really cool. Um, this one's from Nyla London, so I've got one of their leather jackets as well. Then I've got one from Rails, so you can see there, it's really cool. Um, and then I've got another one underneath as well, so I've got a few there, but I just love when they have your name on the back. I think it's really cool if you wear them with like leather pants or joggers, um, so they're really, really nice pieces. As I've got so many bags, I keep collecting bags. Um, I've got these two little trunk clutches. These are both from Aspinall, but I've got these here, so I just store them up here um, because there isn't enough room actually. So I've got this bookcase here and I've got some hanging on my mirror. Got this mirror here from HomeSense, it's like a floor standing mirror. So you literally just put it on the floor and push it against wherever you want it. Um, but it's really good for hanging, as you can probably see. I've got loads of my handbags stored on the side of the mirror. There was a point where I literally had so many bags on here though that it just looked ridiculous. So I've had to put a lot of bags actually into storage, unfortunately. <laughs> so here I've got this bookcase, which is from Ikea. It's about £35 um, and it's great for storage. So instead of books, I've got the bags. <laughs> Um, but I do have books too. So here I've got loads of my different bags um, and I've stored them all in here. A lot of my favourites, so I've got my Chloe which I found on Brand Alley. So I love buying designer bags discounted as I might have mentioned before. So that's one of my favourites and I love the nude colour. Um, and then here I've got another one, my little Pegasus clutch which is from Aspinall. This is really cute, it's great for weddings. Um, just if you want to take a few pieces out with you, so that's one of my favourites as well. And of course my Chanel, which is my staple bag. Um, I love this one, it's literally probably, probably my favourite bag. Like, it's nothing like amazing, it's just a classic. Um, and that is probably my favourite, like if I'm rushing to go anywhere, that comes with me. So I'll show you my bags another time, but there's loads there. Oh, also, the new one, the YSL, which I got from Vista Village. That is one of my favourites as well. Basically, they're all my favourites. <laughs> they're all my babies, my bags, I love them. And we've got the shoes, guys. So as you can tell, I love shoes, and I've collected so many over the years. Um, I do actually get rid of a lot, though, and I know that sounds 
kind of bad but I don't like to keep a lot of things that I don't use or wear I like to have everything in my dress room that I literally can go to and say yeah I would wear that so if you do want to shop any of my old wardrobe um, I am part of ebloggers so they collect my stuff um, a lot of it goes to charity as well but there's loads of my old wardrobe on there so do check that out um, but yeah so these are all my shoes so some of my favorites are my Valentino rock studs um, I've had these for quite a long time and they've lasted so well so when you spend money on these they do really last and they just go with everything like you can wear them with a jean, you can wear them with a dress, a skirt, um, I've actually even worn them with joggers before, <laughs> don't judge but I've worn like a really cool shirt with joggers and Valentinos and like a leather jacket, really cool look so they're some of my favourites and then also here I've got these, um, these are from Axel Arigato, so they're a really cool brand for sneakers and I'm definitely a sneakers fan. I love wearing sneakers with any kind of outfit, again I'd love wearing them with like even a girly dress but then styling with, with sneakers so it's not so girly, just to edge it up a bit. And one thing I'm into at the moment is the mule, <laughs> much to my boyfriend's dismay, he hates them. I don't care. Who who dresses for boys anyway? Like I so dress for girls. Um, so here I've got these mules. Um, these ones are actually from Mona Veens. So they look like the Gucci ones, but they're not. Um, but they're leather, white leather, and they're really cool if you wear like even just like boyfriend jeans, like I've got on now, and a cute top. So I love those. And if you want to just not wear like a heeled shoe and you want to be a bit more comfortable they're really good for that. So the ultimate boots that is a bit of me is the biker boot and the one that I wanted for so long was the Louis Vuitton one um, which I finally got <laughs> and I literally love it. Um, I know it's a bit crazy to love a shoe so much but as I love a biker boot and this is my favourite like the Louis Vuitton prints not too much in your face that it's like too Louis Vuitton and too branded but you can wear this with a dress joggers, jeans, leather pants, literally everything. That's why I literally love this shoe so much. But don't worry, if you can't afford the Louis Vuitton boots, that's taken me about eight years to be able to afford that. So don't worry. I've got these two here. So this one is from Pretty Little Thing and these are about 30 pounds and these are three years old, still got them. So there's an option. They look a bit like the Jimmy Choo one as well. So they're really cool. And then here, this is my favourite and these I treasure because I've had these for about four years. They've been on every shoot with me. They're from Stradivarius. They were £39.99. So when Stradivarius first opened in Oxford Street, um, I went and got these. These ones I literally swear by because when I first wore these, everyone was like, oh my god, like I love your Balmain boots. I was like, they're not Balmain. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have said that, but they're not. They were £39.99. And the quality is amazing. So it shows that you don't have to spend loads of money. You just have to shop well. Um, and I shop well with these two, but my favourite is the Louis Vuitton, I must say, but I do love these two. So I've got my three holders here, guys, that I use on a regular basis. This is my Burberry one. I love the Burberry print. I've had this one for years, and it's a bit of a statement piece, so I really like this one. And then my favourite is probably my Louis Vuitton, actually. So this one is just a really good size. It's perfect for like a weekend if you're travelling. I'm always travelling, as you probably know. I've got so many trips coming up. I'm off to LA, the Maldives, Italy. I've got loads going on. So this I normally take with like a small kind of uh, suitcase, so my small Aspinall. Or I've got a Samsonite, which I'll show you in a minute. That one's really good because it's got four wheels. And it's got the strap as well, so it's really good. So you can just put it over one arm if you don't overfill it. And I tend to overfill this bag, so I can't normally put the strap on because I'm like this, <laughs> walking. But um, yeah, this is really cool and it's an investment piece again. And then here I've got my other one, which is a Louis Vuitton one. So this one is vintage. I got this on open for vintage and it was actually about £500. So a bit more pricey, but for Louis Vuitton it's quite a good price. Um, and again, I love buying vintage pieces, so it's like a really, actually some people thought this was supreme when I've worn it out. I was like, no, it's not. <laughs> it's Louis Vuitton, but you probably won't be able to tell. This one's like um, less branded, but red is probably my favourite colour, so I really like this one. And it's a bit smaller as well. So here I've got a lot of my blazers. Um, as you can see, I've got quite a lot of the Holland Cooper ones. But then I've got some different ones here. So I've got one from Karen Millen. Um, I've got my pretty little thing military jacket, which I love. I'll show you that, actually. So I love this military jacket. Oh, sorry, actually, boohoo, not pretty little thing. Um, so this one's really nice. Um, and I've got two different ones. This is more of a high street price. 
But then here I've got the other one which is from Camino Couture. I love a military jacket, so these are really nice. Um, and I love the detail on this one as well. Um, and then here I've got my leather jackets. So I've got loads of different leather jackets. Again, I will show you more in another video. Um, but I tend to have them all here. I've got a few different ones. So I've got like a silver, a red and a white one. So this one's really cool. It's got stars on it. But I do love just a simple plain black leather jacket. I think you can't go wrong with a leather jacket. You can literally wear them with everything. Um, I even had one on today actually. It was like a really oversized one. And it's just perfect if you're running out the house, you're running to the shops or running into town. It's really good. Here I've got loads of different pieces. So I've got like jumpers. Um, more like colourful pieces I'd say. So here I've got like my wild fox pink and red jumper with the star on the back. As you can probably tell, I like stars and red. <laughs> You'll probably get to know my style, like biker boots. Um, and then here, this is bright pink cardigan. Um, not such a fan of that, actually, now. And I've pulled that out. I'm like, maybe I should get rid of that one. But, um, and then here, I've got another one, which is stars, again, from Wild Fox. There's just loads of different jumpers in here. Just little bits that I kind of, they're not specific, but there's just like, jumpers for like every day. Here I've got this one from the White Studio. So there's loads of different jumpers there. So at the weekend I had a sort out guys of my makeup. So my makeup got so ridiculous recently. There was just, I didn't even know what I had. So I've done a massive clear out. So here you can probably see I've got all of my foundations. Um, I put them in this little basket that I got from HomeSense. And I've got loads of different ones. So I've got my Armani, or oh, they're not they're not actually the foundations, they're fluid shears. But here I've got my foundations. So my favourite is the Luminous Silk Foundation. Um, I've been wearing that for a few years and it's a really light foundation. You can wear it like every day. Um, and then you've got the other one which is the fabric, power fabric. So if you're going on a night out, this is a bit of a heavier coverage. Um, and then also another favourite of mine is the Charlotte Tilbury. It's got a bit of powder in there. Um, so it's the Light Wonder. So this one's really good. It's got an SPF in it, so it's really good if you're going in the sun, but you just want a light coverage again. I don't like really heavy foundations, so I'd say those two are my favourites. And then a third one would be the Laura Mercier. So this one also, again, is um, a long wear, so it does last all day. So those three... The power fabric is more of an evening, so I'd probably say these three are my favourites, but I will link them all below. So here I've got um, my Laura Mercier. So I did actually have quite bad skin last year. To be honest, now my skin's actually fine, thankfully, um, after going on the pill. But I used the SC5, so this saved me the secret camouflage when I had bad acne. As you can tell, I used all of it. <laughs> um, and I got it in a few different shades, so I used that one as well. So I really use this. It's a great product for putting over spots it's so pigmented so it literally covers any spot you have it's amazing I'll just have to show you how to do that one of my bad skin comes back <laughs> we'll have to do another video on how the Laura Mercier is so amazing and then one of my favorite palettes um, I do love for eyeshadows is Urban Decay so I've got the Naked Urban Decay this is the cherry range so as you can tell I've been using this one a lot this is the ambitious color um, it's like a pinky kind of gold kind of tone I love love gold tones for eyeshadows so this is really nice the Urban Decay sets for eyeshadows are so nice because they're so pigmented and again I love the Reputation one which is really really um, pigmented but it's that kind of gold tone as well so those two are probably my favourites um, this is the Reloaded palette Charlotte Tilbury I love their lipsticks as you can probably tell I've got quite a few here so they're all my favourites but my ultimate favourite as you know I wear a red lip all the time and this is the So Marilyn as you can tell it's literally it's all gone <laughs> I might put a tiny bit on so you guys can see the kind of colour but this is my I don't know if you can see there this is my staple, that's very makeshift what I've just done there, but this is my staple go-to red lip, literally. Oh my god, if I run out of this I have a meltdown. It's the So Marilyn by Charlotte Tilbury, again I'll link that below. That is my favourite red lipstick, it's gone all over my fingers. Um, but I do love that one and there's loads of other ones so I will be doing a makeup video another time. Um, and then perfumes again, I've got a few perfumes here. So as you can see here, I like Penhaligons. I love all their perfumes. They're really strong, so I'd say that you only need a couple of sprays of Penhaligons because it's so, it's like a really strong scent. And then in here, I've just got a few other bits, so like my sunglasses. 
cases. Um, and then here I've got like a jewellery stand. So I got this on Amazon actually and it's got a few different pieces. These are more everyday pieces. I have got a jewellery box but here is more everyday pieces that I want to grab and go. That's what I love about my dressing room is that everything in here is like grab and go. So I can literally come in here and do my makeup, grab some jewellery. On the rail I've got pieces that I want to like wear because I'm always in a rush. And with my diary, like obviously being a model, like nothing's ever planned. So I can get a call saying like you've got to go tomorrow. So I always have to have everything ready to go. So here I've got like my pineapple, which in here has got loads of statement earrings. So I've got these recently actually. These are really cool. They've got like, they're kind of colourful. A bit like a lobster. I think it was a lobster. <laughs> it's meant to be a lobster. Um, so I've got loads of like statement earrings. They're really cool. And I've got hoops, so they all just get stored in here. It's a really cool little thing that I got from Oliver Bonus. Here I've got my two investment pieces, two Rolexes. So I'm a bit of a boy like that. I do love cars and watches. Um, so this one was my first Rolex that I ever bought. This is a silver one with like a black face. Um, I love this one. But when I went to buy this actually, this one I've got on was the one that I literally wanted. But I was short on money. I'd had a good modelling job, but not quite good enough. So this one was the one that I wanted so I ended up going to buy this um, actually about six months ago but now I have both <laughs> they're really nice because they're just really simple I don't like anything too flash as well and because I'm quite petite I don't like anything too like big and out there and these are just a really nice size so I will link these two below um, but yeah you can see here <laughs> They're really nice um, and they're just, I really want to keep them for when I have a daughter one day. Hopefully they'll be vintage then so she can have them. But Rolexes are a really good piece, they're investment, they hold their value. That's why I love buying them. So these two are pieces that I'm going to treasure forever. So in here I've got a few of my belts. So I got this new one actually from Holland Cooper which is really nice. Um, so I know Jade really well and she sent me this kindly and I love the logo, it's really lovely. And I love the kind of colourful band as well, it'd be great with jeans and like a white tee. Um, and then the one I've got on actually, I'll just show you. This one is from Gucci, so I got this at the airport on the way to Singapore, you might have seen my Singapore vlog. Um, so this one's really nice, I love that it's quite a smaller logo here, I don't like the one with the really big logo. I just whoever likes that is, is fine but it's just not my my style so I really like the smaller one and then I've also got the Chanel one but do you know what I've actually lost my Chanel belt I can't find it I've got this really lovely Chanel belt with a small logo and I'm always losing things so I don't know where that one is which is a bit worrying and then here I've got my one which is a simple black belt from Fairfax and Favour so it's really nice it's got the gold detail on it just there um, it's quite small there, <laughs> I'm not that small, <laughs> but um, it's really nice, it's just simple, it's got this black suede, so I keep all my belts in here. In here guys I've got all of my coats, so recently I actually moved the coats from the rail that I had in the dressing room into here, obviously it's getting a bit warmer now, so I've got loads of different coats, um, I've got like this one which is from Mona Veen, so it's a bit more glamorous, so it's like this white, I think the cuffs just come off, but it's got this white kind of fur detail here with the gold buttons, which is really lovely. Um, that's perfect for wearing. Even what I'm wearing now, like I've put that on even with my biker boots, um, or you can wear it with like a dress and heels. It's really versatile. And then you might see that I've got quite a few Holland Cooper ones. So I've got this one, which is a brighter colour. I wore this actually when I went to McGurve recently skiing. Um, so that one's really nice. It's got the logo there. So I love that one. And then one of my favourite leather trenches is this from Karen Millen. So it's like this red kind of leather, well it's like a mulberry kind of colour. Um, but this is one of my favourites. I love a leather trench. They're really classy and they're a classic. So this one's one of my favourites in here. And I've just got loads of other coats. I won't go through all of them because I will do like a coat haul. There's just so much I want to video for you guys. But um, there's loads of different pieces in here. And then down below, I've just got bits that have just arrived from brands. So I've got a pretty little thing package here, which is ready for one of my trips. This came from Victoria's Secrets, which is really cute. And then as I'm an ambassador for guests as well, these came from guests. So there's loads of bits in here that are ready to shoot. Um, so that's just kind of like my ready to shoot section here, which I need to have. 
Um, and then here on this side, so I currently live on my own, but my boyfriend is moving in. Um, so we've made a section. I've still got all my jeans here. They're not very organized, sorry. <laughs> this is the one part that isn't organized in the house. But here I've got all of my jeans and then he's got this section here. So at the weekend we had a clear out and I had to put a lot of things in storage. Um, as you can tell, I've got so many clothes on the Fashion Diaries. But he's got some of his pieces here. He hasn't officially moved in yet, so... And then up here we've got, like, the hangers, and we've tried to organise it a bit. And then my Samsonite suitcase. So, this is gonna be his! So he's got half a wardrobe in the house. <laughs> Lucky boy. So here, guys, I've got all of my sunglasses. So I got this from Amazon. I love shopping on Amazon, it's really good. You just go on your app and just order it and it's here the next day. So I've got loads of different shades on here. So these ones are my Prada ones. So I've had these for about three or four years. I love the logo at the side. They're really, really cool. Um, they're more of like a statement glasses as well. So these ones are lovely. So here I've got a few others that I want to show you. So Taylor Morris, I know Hugo who owns Taylor Morris. He's got a really cool brand here with the sunglasses. So I've worn these to the polo quite a few times. They're like this white pearl, they're really nice um, and flattering. And then also this brand called Dynamikos. I love their sunglasses. I actually shot their campaign in Ibiza last year. So these ones are really cool. They're like this wooden effect around the side. I really like those ones. And then Wild Fox. <laughs> I've got loads of different, I will link all these guys. These ones are like pink, round, a bit more 60s vibes. These are Wild Fox, so they're very cool as well. Then I've got these ones, which are Gucci, and they're also from Brand Alley. So I found them on there because I love all the discounted pieces that they have on the site. So guys, I just wanted to share with you all that with a dress room, you don't need to have loads of money to get one. So my shelves were just from Ikea. They're super affordable. And um, when I had my old house, I had a fitted wardrobe, which cost me thousands of pounds. And when I moved in here, I was like, I'm not doing that again. I'm just going to get something that's affordable. So I got the Ikea shelves. Get yourself a bookcase. I got a rail on Amazon. You can do it super cheap. I'll try and link below and I'll put in the description where I've got my pieces from. Um, but I hope you guys have really enjoyed my dressing room tour. Do look out for more videos as well. I'll be back every week with a different video. So either like um, another haul or doing my makeup, how to curl your hair with the GHDs. I'm putting so much time into YouTube this year because obviously my Instagram, I've been doing it for four or five years and it's going really well and now YouTube is another platform that I want to share with you guys. So please do subscribe and I'll see you all next Sunday. Thanks.